welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Michter's shared their new barrel strength rye mm. with us here. That's right. So this is the first release of barrel strength rye since 2022. There was none um, last year. None last year in 2023. 110.2 proof. Uh -huh. We like that. Yep. A non-age dated, but you know, with ryes, we find that age is not as important. Right. And Always. Yeah. And it also lines up, you know, Michter's, the US one series, non-age dated. Then you jump up to like the Michter's 10. The so it'll be the Michter, hopefully the Michter's 10 rye again this year and bourbon, because just like the bourbon, there wasn't a, a 10 uh, in 2023 or the, no, the year before, I think. So, so they skip some time. Yeah. Year. It's very much to taste. Yeah. It's more about when it's ready, when not it's ready, keeping to a schedule, which they won't just put something out to put something out. You know, I think some people would argue for consistency that you should be putting something out every year because that's what the, the public is used to. But I think don't do that just to stay on a schedule for a marketing team or whatever. Let's let's put things out when they're ready. So I'm fully behind the yes. it's ready when it's ready. When it's ready. And if we skip a year, we skip a year. I agree because when that Michter's 10 bourbon did come out, it was fantastic. Definitely worth I'd rather that wait. year off. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, I agree. But we're here talking about we're the rye. About this. Yeah. Ooh. Maple yeah. little maple clove hint of minty like eucalyptus, but really not a lot. Just a touch. Yeah, that's yeah, like a syrupy. More mm -hmm. unusual for a rye. I was expecting to get that eucalyptus, you know, pine, you know, the effervescent <sighs> type of uh, rye. This is more baking spice and syrupy with a hint Ooh. of that eucalyptus mint yeah. thing going on. We say it all the time, sometimes on the nose alone, you can tell that this is gonna have like a good mouthfeel, a good texture. I'm picking that up on this. A little bit of um, perfume quality in yeah, there as well. Slightly floral, herbal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, vegetal. Delicious. All right, to your health. Well, stop. Well, stop. <laughs> wow. 110.2? Yeah. Pretty easy. <sighs> Pretty easy. Flavor wise, mm. I don't know if you can tell from my reaction, I liked it a lot. Um, I know your tells. Yeah, the uh, first experience, first sip experience was that it is a little dry towards the finish. I would like to go back for another sip. It was like dry baking spice, like dry licking we cinnamon. Can, we can do that. I will be going back for another sip here in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a second to get acclimated to it. Yeah, cause it is uh, settling into the chest um, pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, it's still sticking on the palate, but yeah, nice Kentucky hug that 110.2 on the palate wasn't really showing itself. It starts to show itself more on the hug mm. that it goes down to the chest, I feel like. Um, very nice, very nice hug. I feel warm. The f I mean, the flavors up front. Wow. Love, 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 love. That's unique. It's it, very unique. It's very unique. It's less dry on the second sip. It almost has this like toasty baking spice. I almost, I almost feel like it's finished in a toasted barrel. Yeah, like it's the mixture's toasted. Right. I mean, I know that they season they're, you know, they season and dry yeah. their barrels and sure. things for what is it, like 18 months or something up to up to 18 time. months. Probably that has something to do with it. But mm. man, the baking spice and the rye uh, working with that toasty wood. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> I'm having a really good time. Yeah, there's definitely something unique about this. Uh, I just want more. You know, the mash bill is unknown, but I feel like just from the taste, I would not call this like a 95.5. It's it's more of a. It's know. not barely legal though either. I don't think. But you know what? I want to let it sit here in the okay. glass, um, let it open up. And while we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. So we're going to get the t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from. That water glass you're drinking from there, Sarah. Mm. But also our uh, hoodies and uh, more t-shirts and sweaters, bottle cut candles, more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash with bourbon and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release discounts on that merch, depending on your tier. Yeah. Our exclusive barrel picks, very exciting. More coming very shortly. Uh, let's see what else. After the episode exclusives with us and more. Okay, we're gonna let us sit here a little bit longer. Be right back. 10 minutes later. I am very excited to get back to this. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it. I don't know, I like it for any time of year, but man, I kind of want to hang on to this bottle for the fall. And when mm. that comes around, oof. I think we have the self-discipline to. Oh, I, I think so. Hold on to oh, it. It'll be a little bit lower, but mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. What well, is still April? We're bound to, here in Kentucky, maybe have another, you know, snow all of a sudden. But it's a different vibe. Snow. Spring snow. It is. Spring cold versus fall cold, different. <laughs> yeah. I want leaves on the ground. Leaves on the ground. Mm. 
that's what this tastes like. Leaves falling, like that week that the leaves really start yeah. to fall and it's cold for the first time at night. This tastes like that. And there's, you know, more on the second and third sip, I'm getting more of a, like a savory element that I'm really <laughs> enjoying. Uh, yeah, a toastiness, both in the flavor and just how it makes you feel. Uh, yeah, it's good. It should be, it's $110, you know, it is. Um, but honestly, for like a barrel strength rye, not unheard of, especially for a mixer's release, you know? No, we not at all. What the other releases go for. I'm just saying some people don't play in that area and that's, and that's completely fine. fine. We all make up, you know, what our bourbon budgets are gonna be, but for mm -hmm. those who do play in that area, who, you know, would regularly buy a 110 bottle. It's a solid purchase. You're not gonna be disappointed is what we're trying to say. Here. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's you're very a rye tasty. fan. Um, you know, just getting it right, because I swear, it's, it's it's not super, super, yeah, super rye in your face, mm -hmm. which is enjoyable. There's mm -hmm. a time and a place for that for super 95 rye. five or that 100% rye, mm -hmm. and then there's, um, I think this is a little has a little more this. flexibility to it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I okay. think that's all the nice things we have to say about it. We're I gonna mean, finish this, <laughs> but that I'm gonna have finished more than that's this. it <laughs> for the episode. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Shad. Okay, thank you, Mictors. Until next time, drink more rye.